Hi Aries, welcome to your weekly forecast and this is for February 9th until 16th. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. You know, it's been a while since I've done the, the weekly thing, but uh, I will try to, you know, uh, include it in my... I will try to work more on it. Okay, I know that, I know that most of you are uh, waiting for this, so... Alright, mm. looks like this week will be very good for communications and there will be a lot of correspondences or there will be a lot of um, good news that's also going to be coming your way. It's just that don't be a little bit hasty or impatient when there is something that you've been waiting for and then even though you know that it's not yet, you know, the, the right time or it's not yet the deadline, and then you're going to keep on calling some people or this and that. And then you're going to, you know, um, you're going to put your outbursts on them. Try to, try to be a little bit more um, patient because this week you will be a little bit ill-tempered, moody as well. Okay. And uh, a little bit aloof from, uh, you're going to be withdrawing from the crowd. Or a little bit, um, you, you don't want to socialize more or much. Now, you are thinking of somebody from the past or somebody that lives far from you. For those who's in a long-distance relationship, you're thinking of reuniting or, you know, you're thinking of um, staying with this person. Or when will the time comes for the two of you to be together or for the two of you to stay together? All right. You are also thinking of or planning of uh, surprising this person, but I feel like might as well just let that person know, especially if you're with a water sign. Okay. Now, for those singles, you are still looking forward to be reunited with somebody from the past or with somebody that you're that you feel so stuck with. Okay. And I feel like this person's um, birthday is also coming soon. Okay, so there will be some good communications, conversations if you're planning to reach out to this person. Just don't overdo it a little bit, okay? And when it comes to your finances, it seems like you're also going to be very busy, in demand, and you'll be attending a lot of meetings. You're going to be on the go. Some of you will be going on a short distance trip or, um, you know, just a quick out of town trip. Which is you're going to be enjoying it because it seems like you are going to have an additional allowance or additional thing. Because you're a little bit problematic this week about, you know, your finances. And you don't even know how to, you know, where to get the, uh, the extra. But you don't really have to worry about it because definitely you are going to get it. Now. Hmm. Well, you're also a little bit uh, thinking about the, uh, you know, the house move and uh, where will you get the, let's say, for example, the uh, the money for the new house or for the, mu for the new move. Which is, you don't really have to worry about that because as I've said, your finances will be secured. You will get whatever, you know, you need and that you want in, um, you know, in a situation. You just, just don't try to add up more friction or tension in the situation by acting a little bit moody and impatient okay because you're going to be having some arguments with some people especially when it works and by the way you will also have a bit of an argument with a libra person if you can walk away from this you know just try to walk away from it it is not really necessary for you to, you know, butt heads with this person because you know that they're already a proud person and no need to stoop below their level. All right. And there will also be a talk, you know, that's going to happen between you and your partner, especially if you're with a water sign. There will be some things about your relationship that you need to discuss come up with you know with a solution and that you need to rearrange some things because both of you are so stressed out with you know your responsibilities the obligations the finances the bills and everything and also the kids and you just need to hear out your partner 
okay it's not just about you it's not always about what you need what you want learn how to listen and don't judge your partner whenever they are trying to express their feelings because especially if you're with a water sign they're very very sensitive okay and they expect for their partners to read them instead of them expressing themselves so it takes a lot for them to pour it out or to say whatever that's inside of them or what inside their mind or inside their hearts so try to be a little bit more open-minded try to understand the situation put yourself into their situation you know or into their into their place and that is how you're going to be coming up with a solution which is i feel like this is uh, part of the um this is just part of the everyday problem, you know, and uh, there's no problem that you're going to put a solution But You just need to be a little bit more cooperative. And don't say that just because that you're the one who's working, that, you know, I don't have time for that. You go and figure it out yourself. No. You still have big obligations more when it comes to your domestic life. All right. Let's take a look at your Oracle cards. What is the advice of? The angels for you this week. All right. A change in the wind. Happy. Between worlds. See, you know, for some areas who's, you know, a little bit caught up in making a decision or whether they should move forward or not. You will know the answer definitely by the end of this week because you need to be a little bit more flexible with what life is going to give you. And there is going to be a change in the wind, okay? What goes up must come down and so on and so forth, okay? And there is going to be happiness that's going to be coming your way, which is, you know, um, I feel like it will come from your domestic life or it will come from your personal life or from your personal um, connections. And by the way, the relationship to your families or um, especially when it comes to financial thing, you know, if someone owes you money from your family and you need it back. I mean, you know, the money that they owe you. Try to skip that from now because it's not really going to end well. Okay, even if you would try to tell them that, oh, I, I really need that money right now, or it's been a while, you know, I, I want you to pay me back. They're going to take it the other way around, and instead of your family or instead of your parents taking your side, they're going to be taking the other person's side. Okay, so this is not really the right time for you to handle and deal with some family members, because it's not really going to end well. Now... You need to be a little bit more flexible instead of resisting the change that is going to come your way. Try to be a little bit more open-minded and be flexible, okay? And you also need to forget about you're holding on too much, sorry, you're holding on too much from the past or you are holding on to somebody from the past too much. It's time for you to let it go, you know, bury the hatchet and you need to put it, you know, it's like, you need to put it all behind you. Okay, water under the bridge. You know, whether it's a grudge, whether it's a person, it's a situation, a heartbreak, bad memories, bad, you know, traumas or something like that. It's time for you to put it away. You need to move forward. And for those Aries who's been trying to make a choice between two people, you need to... balance it's not just about whoever that will make you happy because you know in when it comes to relationships happiness is not really stable you know um just try to do whatever that's right and And I keep on saying this, you know, in the past that if someone really respects you or if someone really loves you, they're going to, you know, step away or step aside for a little while and uh, give way to your private life or give way to those that you're already with. Okay. Instead of competing and instead of um, forcing you to make a choice. All right. Because I feel like you have to choose 
whatever that suits best for you and whatever that will give you more security happiness and stability all right because there is going to be a truth to be told all right so that's it for you for this week aries and um if you want to talk to me live on the phone or oh and by the way live video call is already back you can check out our um, you know uh live video better it's there on my website at sophieangel.net and try to you know try out our um how do you call this um our app okay it's still uh, also in the beta testing and you can find the link also in my website all right have a great weekend and uh, blessings to you